This tutorial will walk you through the setup process for the CSI Hero 4 firmware update. This process is required if you plan to use your Hero 4 camera with the CamDo Solutions time lapse intervalometer, motion detector, programmable scheduler, wired remote, or bullet cable. After purchasing one of those products, you'll receive an email that contains a password and a link. This link will redirect you to the following website, which prompts you to input your email and your password. After doing so, you will be redirected to this page. With the SD card in your camera, turn it on and format it using the delete all function from the setup menu. Turn the camera off, remove the SD card and place it into an SD card reader in your computer. Scroll down to this spot and click on the choose file button. Navigate to your SD card directory and into the MISC folder. Click on the version.txt file and click open. Then click upload. The should now update to show your camera type and version. This version number should be identical to the version number of your camera. If it all looks good, click on generate personalized firmware. You are then redirected to another page where you can download the CSI firmware update. Please click on that now. After downloading the CSI firmware update, navigate to the downloads directory and drag that file into the SD card. Then go ahead and unzip the file. You can delete the zip file after it has been unzipped. Now what we will see is a folder that is named update, all uppercase letters. You'll want to keep that naming convention because if it's changed, the camera won't interpret it as an update. Next, eject the SD card, plug it into your camera and turn it on. The camera will start the update process, during which it will turn on and off several times, blink the LEDs and display an updating image on the LCD screen. This is normal and when it is finished, the camera will be left on. After the update is completed, turn the camera off, remove the SD card, and place it back into your computer. Next, scroll down to the CSI controller file and download that as well. This file is necessary to interpret the functions that are placed in the script. Navigate to your downloads directory and drag the CSI controller file into the SD card. Once again, unzip it and delete the zip file after. The file should now be named CSI controller and you must keep it like this in order for the camera to recognize it. Back on the website, scroll down to the sample script section and choose either the video or photo script. Right click it and select save link as. Download that directly to your SD card. This file is named autoexec.csi and again it must be kept that way in order for the camera to process it. Now I'm going to open up this sample script to show you what's inside it. The first thing you'll notice is a header with a bunch of hash marks in front of everything. The camera will not run anything with a hash at the beginning of the line. This is a nice way of adding comments to your file. The first line that the camera runs is the one which changes the mode of the camera to photo. Next the camera shutter button press is emulated. Then this command tells the camera to wait 10 seconds before continuing to run the rest of the file. If you want to wait longer, edit this value to any whole number. It's prudent to give the camera some time to save the image or video to the SD card so that the files don't get corrupted. And then finally, the camera is turned off with the shutdown command. So now you can remove the SD card from the computer and place it into your camera. The last thing you should do is set your camera's auto off mode to one minute. This will help with battery life in case there is a problem with the script and the camera is left on. Now place the SD card into your camera and turn it on. The camera will turn on, and after a second or two, it will run through the commands listed in the autoexec.csi file. If you run into any problems, please see the FAQ and troubleshooting at the bottom of the page, or contact us through the help form.